Hello and welcome back to Sword of Strategy in episode 5 of Mountain Blade Viking Conquest. I've just after finishing recording episode 4 and straight away spotted 22 thieving Franks walking around the place. And we're trying to cut off some of our men without having to just fire them because that would be shit. So here we are. Uh, what do you want? Surrender or die? Whatever. Okay. Ambush attack. What? What does that mean? Your men feel good about attacking outlaws. I'm gonna click on this, I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh. Right, we're on a hill. Oh, they're on the beach, right, cool. We have like a some sort of upper hand. Right, so I'm just gonna leave my last charge in. I don't want the horse guys getting killed. Because they seem pretty good and I like having them basically. So twenty two is not a laughing matter, really, considering that uh you know we want our we want our guys to we want to cut a few of our guys to die, but I also don't want some of our you know best guys dying for no reason. So yeah, so orange means they're knocked unconscious. Red means that they're killed, and none of our guys have been killed yet. So it feels like yeah, maybe we will have to uh, yeah, maybe we will have to kill, call some of our guys. We're t we're unstoppable. We're too strong. They don't stand a chance. These guys are actually pretty good though for getting. Oh, we did lose a guy, a freeholder. Damn. I feel kind of bad letting them die. Well, not letting them die. They're fighting, and also... They're pretty beastly as well. Yeah. I feel like... We're pretty OP. Well, then again, yeah. We're fighting something half the size of our army, but still. And there we go. That was that. So, 22 guys. Not even a match for us. We lost one guy. One killed and six wounded. Great. Okay, well... That's good. Six robbers captured. Also, it seems like our prisoner count can go up depending on the amount of guys in our army. And we got a load more loot as well. Got some good stuff. Right, let's just take what we can. Well, there's not a lot of room left, it looks like. Yeah, so we're going to have to get rid of some of the rubbish, which we have a lot of. Alright, so I'm back after failing to cull any of our men. And we really need to leave this place now, so uh, I'm going to have to decide. I have to cut it down to how many again? I can't remember. There's like 27, something fairly small. Don't have room for 24 of our men. How many guys do we have? 51. That's pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to keep the horse riders, because they're cool. I'm going to keep the bowmen. These guys can turn into bowmen, uh, but they're competing with these. It's between these, I think. I want to keep him. He's better than the Freeholders, apparently. Keeping the Companions. So the Freeholders definitely will lose some of them, too. It seems like we're... I don't know. Get rid of these first. Bam, bam, bam. And now... Probably have to just get rid of, like, basically all of these. I suppose. We've lost all our Frisians, which is kind of disappointing, but... Oh well, what can you do? This is actually really annoying. It's kind of disappointing. How many can we take now? How many do we need to cut down? Uh, four. Four men need to go. You're staying, you're staying, you're staying, you're staying. Okay, so four of these. One, two, three, four. Alright, well, that's that. Our army is now down to 27. We need to get more ships. And here we go, leaving Frisia. Probably nearly forever. We'll probably come back and kill people there someday. But uh, So it's afternoon currently. We saw earlier that you actually get a debuff from uh, sailing at night. which cause, Just because your sailors don't like it or something like that. But I feel like now that we are at, not at war, but we're exiled or whatever from... Here we go. We'll go to Reba. Reeb. Ribe. Reba. Reba. I don't know. Now that we're exiled from Frisia, we can basically do whatever we want to their trading ships, so that might be a good uh, source of income, maybe? Let's see, let's... I have a load of slaves, or not slaves, well, soon to be slaves, if I can find someone that'll buy them. Farmer, warrior, skulls, what about you? Traveler, and you are a host, I don't care. What's the farmer want? Uh, what's the matter? Right, so a quest, this is weird. I've never seen this before. A band of brigands has taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, forces to serve them, and do do as much evil. 
If one of us so much as breathes a word of protest to kill the poor soul on the spot right away, our lives have been unbearable. I risk my skin and ran away to find someone that could help us. Why don't you go to the Lord? I did. The Lord's men did not let me see him, and he was occupied with more important matters uh, that we should deal with our own problems ourselves. Please, my Lord, we look. You look like a man of valor and a fearsome warrior. Okay, we'll help you. Where is this village? Reba by South. It's not far from here. Okay, so quest. Picked up a quest. We'll probably do that because fuck the bandits. Um, still didn't get to sell, sell our prisoners, but that's okay. Reba by South. That's it. That doesn't look south to me, but all right. I wonder do we have enough men, though? We might not now. That's the problem. And also, I feel like we might not be able to ask for recruits anymore now that we're in a new place. No, we can't. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, what's the plan here? What should we do? We have some quests, actually, so let's have a look at those. Um, yeah, this is our old mission. I don't know why that's still there. The Wolf's Den. Portmaster of Reba might know where Sven's hideout is. That's the guy that Tom Crick told us about. Uh, looks like a new mission for him. Ask... For Jarl Sigurd Ragnarsson, Rebo might be a nice place to start. Does that really sound like a good idea? I don't really think it does, but we'll see. I'll probably just head there now, more or less. Just ask the king, see if anything happens. Notes on Denmark, doesn't matter. Save the village. We'll do that next. Visit the Lord's Hall. This must be the king. Scald, Spearman. He doesn't seem to be here either. Alright. Let's just go. I'll probably... Do I want to cut already? Like, uh, probably not. Maybe we'll, um, if we save Reba by south, maybe, maybe we'll get to be, to recruit from there. Maybe they'll like us enough. Oh, 25 thieving francs. Bandits and brigands. Hmm. Can we take them? We've nine horsemen, so I don't know if that'll be a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe we'll try fight those. I'll probably... Yeah, fuck it. Let's give it a go. Fight you to the end. Start holding position. We have 27 against their 25. If only these boys were here earlier. Let's go with our spearmen. Where are our spearmen? Spearmen are one. Oh, yeah, I've changed the, the way I'm doing this now. So let's put spearmen there. Our infantry is basically just... Oh, follow me. Cavalry probably put you out over there and then let's see what else we have skirmishers probably put you I guess here I don't see any bad guys yet is that them way back there on the hill I'll use my uh, laser vision mm, yeah they're heading here so that's okay we've only got one skirmisher now that we've gotten rid of everyone else what are you a bowman crap Five. Uh, you're gonna go there. This is our companion, and our. I wish I had a horse. If I had a horse, I could get them. To, I could go around with them. Right, the archer's able to hit them from here. Are you serious? We should really try to get some more of those. I would say. Uh, cavalry. You're gonna go out there, or there maybe. Why are they not... They're not set to cavalry for some reason. They're set... Oh, horse archers. That makes sense, yeah. They're throwing shit at us. Let's throw some of our brand new javelins. Or whatever they're called. Oh. Seems like our horse archers are doing... Well, doing fine, I suppose. So, spearmen... Charge and then cavalry charge as well. Should be good now. Hopefully, we'll do okay. Right, so our guys just charged into the back of our own men, which isn't ideal. It should be an alright fight though, because we're fairly even, I would say. Okay, we're in a one on one here. Not anymore. All. Okay, we're fucking them up. They really don't stand a chance. I don't know how that was so one-sided, but whatever. 
yeah, with our horsemen as well, they'll get dealt with fast. It's kind of a dark map. I guess maybe it's night time and shit like that in-game. But that went well. I think we did lose a couple guys, but... Oh, well. That's what happens, I guess. Part of the job. Gained renown, which is good. Seven renown. Three of our guys were killed. Oh, and one of us are minorly, minor wounded. No, our spearman's dead already. Fuck. And we lost two freeholders. Okay. Capture some more guys. Oh, we're already... What's worth more, brigand or bandit? They both look the same to me. What the fuck? Bandit, brigand, ruffian, and robber. I think these guys are the least dangerous. And then... Probably followed by these. So let's capture... Ah, oh, shit. I'm releasing guys that... Ah, uh, yeah. I'm retarded. See, we can only take... 11. Okay. Capture, because I dropped our size of our army, remember, so that means that we can hold less guys, which is a pain in the ass, but whatever. You are now free to roam this country. We still have a companion, so let's go, another spearman, even though he died, like, straight away, but... Oh, well, should be grand. Share the loot. Oh, heavy short axe. Big hand axe. Hmm. That's worse, it looks like. Alright, I'll just pick all this stuff up and probably... If I do go put an Enten on, guys, I'll do it off-screen because I don't want to spend all day doing this stuff. I've seen, I've used to watch other people... Oh, large bag of javelins. Probably give them to Ryan Hurd because he's got bent javelins. I've advanced to a new level. Perfect. Let's see what you can do here. Attributes and skills. Another boat would be nice. So let's put that in there. So if we ever do manage to get a boat, that would just be good. Trade is up as high as it can go. Leadership, persuasion, engineer, first aid, surgery, wound treatment, inventory, management, spotting, pathfinding, tactics, tracking, trainer, looting is up as high as it can go. Riding, athletics, weapon master, weapon maintenance. What does that do? Power draw, power throw, power strike, power flesh. We've got a new boat thing. Maybe we'll go... Ah, fuck it. We'll go power strike. Start one-shotting people, ideally. And then go pole arms. Oh, no, throwing. We need to start doing some throwing skill. Forgot. Uh, there was a guy there, wasn't there? I thought. Maybe not. Okay, I'll probably cut here and look for the king, because he seems to be quite important, I guess. So, yeah, back in a sec. Alright, so, as I cut and started to run through forests and shit, I got cap caught up by this group of our souls, basically. There's 39 of them, so we have about 26 lads right now. Uh, actually, I got to recruit, like, three more guys, because I paid 300 and the village leader allowed me to recruit from the town from then on. So, basically, yeah, I'm stuck with fighting 39 guys. I got to glimpse at the army first, and it seems a lot of them are just like sailors and shit, so they might just... It might be easy, basically. This guy looks pretty fucking tough, though, but... Uh, yeah, we'll fight them. Start holding position, right. So we have 26 and they have 39. It seems like they were kind of lower quality soldiers, we'll say. Uh, but, oh well. Right, spearmen. Why? Why? So this is a cool, like, feature. I really like the idea of being able to control them like that, but... Um, put them on top of the hill. Skirmishers. Oh yes, I also have to remember that uh, I am not actually, they're not actually, what's called, they're not actually cavalry, they're horse archers, which I keep forgetting. There. What the fuck? Right, so this is our bodyguard anyway, our companion. I don't see anything as of now. Yeah, they're miles away, so I'm probably going to get everyone. Uh, there's a thing you can do. I know. I'm relearning these. Oh, yeah, here we go. Advance 10 paces. So everyone will advance. Hopefully they don't bunch up. Yeah, I'll press that a few times. All right. That's pretty good, I feel like. Oh, fuck, yeah, there's a lot of them. Companion, what are you doing? You're supposed to follow me. Where is he going? Yeah, I feel like we should be sound, actually. 
Um, let's try and do our horse archers with a cool like maneuver. Put them over there. Get them to charge in. So one, why I charge, and then get our horse archers to charge. There. I'm pretty slow with the controls right now, but I'll get it. Yeah, we're fine. Zero YI. Here we go. Everyone is charged. These guys are pretty low level fellas. Oh, got me in the head with this thing though. There's a. There's, oh my god, I'm getting attacked by like a lot. What the fuck? His head just came off. His really low detailed head. Come here. Nice. Oh fuck, there's actually a guy with a weapon here. Still one-shotted. Okay, we're actually losing a few of our guys here. We're just outnumbered, I feel like. That's kind of the only reason. Oh fuck, this guy is the guy with all the armor. No, oh, he's down, he's down. Okay, good. He's the one that seems like been doing all the damage. Nice, okay. Where are the rest? I feel like a lot of our guys are nearly dead. Or are dead. Um, where is everyone? We didn't lose like all our men, did we? Uh, possibly. Seems like... Where are our horsemen? Oh, God. I feel like we've lost basically everyone. Oh, no. Ugh. We have six people up and about. Uh, one of them is a freeholder. I feel like one of them, that's Brunhild is there. And the other skirmishers, it looks like, a lot of them. I nearly went down there. I had some uh, pretty bad moments there, pretty useless fighting moments. That's it, okay, they escaped. That's the end of that. I definitely saw that we did lose a horseman, which is kind of disappointing. Gained renown. We lost three guys, only three, okay. We lost a freeholder. The spearman died again. So spearmen just seem to be pretty shit. That's all I can notice. We got five wounded and one kill. So we actually lost a lot of the horsemen there. Okay, and now we can capture some more guys. Slave driver, peasant woman, sailor. I think they're fine. Oh, nice, a new shield. That's better than what we have. Oh my god, yeah, we're full of rubbish. Okay, I'm gonna cut here and be back when I'm done fiddling with this stuff. Alright, so, and I'm back. So I found out what we should do. Basically, right now, the king... I asked another lord where the king of the country is, or whatever, and he was like, oh, he's he's out in the field, he should be over here. And basically, I looked through the whole country, and that town... The town he mentioned, that he was nearby, wasn't here, so I guess he's abroad, raiding or something like that. So, right now, the only other lead we have is the... Nick Guy, the portmaster who Tonkrick was talking about, and this is our lad, so let's see what he wants. Welcome, sir. What do you need? Uh, you know what I want. <sighs> How would he know what I want? Uh, Alright, so that's my only option. Okay. I want to, hide, want to find Sven's hideout. He approaches you until you can smell the cheap beer on his breath. Why so, lo so loud, friend? Nobody in the port needs to know what we're talking about. I see someone has told you about me. That's fine. It's how businesses thrive. Well, you don't want to know the location. You want to know the location. It's not hard to get it, but it has a cost. Of course, it's not a cheap one. Bullneck is a dangerous man. He looks at you with a perverse look. Listen carefully. Fortunately, I need someone like you. I need you to become, hmm, a raider of sorts. I need you to go to Uru land. Is that Ireland? I have a client who wants the bo a book kept in the monastery there as a relic. The monastery is called Glendalough. Yeah, it is Ireland. Eru land. Hmm. Uh, the name of the book is The Cog of Cullum Kill. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm really only interested in the book. Anything else is, you is yours. Bring me the book and you will know where Sven is hiding. <sighs> Well, let's see, I don't know if I want to do this, to be honest. I wonder, is there any other... Okay. Then buy the book. I do not care how you get it, just bring it. And I suggest you repair the provision... Uh, repair and provision your ship. The trip to Ireland is long. 
bring enough men and the, the go for the Gordelic war enough on each other to have become quite good at it. Barduvel. Godelic is Gaelic, basically. For the Gaelic, for Godelic war enough on each other to have become quite good at it. Okay. Right, so... Ugh. Is there, is there anything else? Can I not just... It's too far away. Would you take money instead? My client will not be happy and people will know you're not reliable. My client has paid me 10,000 for the book. Do you have that? No. <laughs> Alright. Well, it looks like we're going to Ireland, so then. To Glendalock. Why not? Let's see. We have enough, so let's just leave, I guess. Sail from port. What? Doesn't have enough room for two of my men. Off to Ireland. So stay near the coast, apparently. So we'll probably have to go down this way and then across to Cantawarabur, which I'm guessing is Canterbury. And yeah, see how we go. It's late afternoon currently, so I should probably keep an eye on my boat, actually, because... There could be Vikings or Frisian warships or something like that, which don't like us. It's already evening, actually, so... Oh, the weather changes, so that must influence speed. Then, okay. As soon as that gets to, like, night, I'll, uh, it's midnight now. Oh, shit. Frankish Raiders, 34 and 49 fucking... 49 prisoners. 36 sailors, wow. Well. Vikinger, sailor, reaver, and ship captain. Let's just land here at this landing point and rest for the night. Oh yeah, change the color of my ship, like my uh, the writing for anything to do with me. And it's now green. So wait here some time. I'll be back in the morning. Oh, it's morning, never mind. Okay, back on the boat. All right, and here we are finally in fucking Ireland. Jesus Christ. Uh, he wasn't lying anyway when he said he would take a while. Veteran Renegades. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Don't really want to fight them. There's Glendalough, but I'm trying to get to Mash to to sell some of my shit. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, we're not really scared of them. That we have double their their shit, so I don't see why they've attacked us. But oh well. I guess this will be a good point to end the episode after this anyway. So. I think we'll just probably charge, like, get everyone to just follow me to a certain point because I don't want the horsemen charging in alone, as I said before, and then just get everyone to charge. So it took ages to get here. It's the first time Oshin has set foot in Ireland since he left with his mum that time. Um, but yeah, we'll see. What the fuck are they at? Come on, kill them, fuck. Get this done, quick. There. Alright, we're fucking these guys up. Why do they attack us? I don't know. There. This is going well. Nice, that's everyone, it looks like. Is it? Horsemen will chase whoever's left. Hey! That's that. Ugh. Yeah, sorry, I really lost my train of thought there. But, um. Highwayman, he seems important. Let's get him. Robber, you don't seem so important. No offense. Capture, capture, and then bandits. Capture, capture. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck yes! Chainmail. Boys. Alright, that's really good. Now we're looking schlick. So we are. Doing well. Is there anything else in here that's of no? Not really, so I can just collect all this other shit really quick. Give Reinhard my uh, other my old jacket. Ah uh, yes. Now we're fucking unkillable basically. Alright, so tune in next time I guess, as next time we'll deal with Glendalock. I was gonna go to Moshu to sell our slaves, so that'll be next, and Yeah, that's that. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna try and buy the book, I think, from Glendalock first, and then if they can't, then I guess we'll just have to take it, but yeah, thanks for watching, tune in next time, and yeah, bye.